Why do you need an oil catch can? Here's why. So as you can see, I bought the KO Star Black Model Edition Billet Oil Catch Can. Uh, pretty cheap, 96 bucks. Uh, came, looks like this. Really good hardware, very nice uh, build construction. Uh, pretty cool, it's got a little hole in the bottom where you can actually hook a hose up and use this valve. Instead of having to uh, pull the bottom off, you can use this little turn cack right here, put that in the bottom, put a hose on it, you can use that to just get your oil out of the bottom of it. So let's go get this thing put in. All right. So from the videos I've watched on YouTube, it's going to go right over here. Let me loosen this up a little bit so I can get the camera right. All right. It's going to go right there is where we have to pull that out. And that's where the bolt is going to go, which is right here. This is just a little uh, panel plug that holds this wiring. So we're gonna pop this out and that is where our bolt is gonna go that's gonna hold on that catch can. So let me go ahead and get some tools, we'll get started. So the first thing you do is you drop this bolt right down in here. That's what you try to get. You try to get it in a good spot where it's nice and hard to get to so that you got to use your little mister fingers here to get it out so yep start out just like that it's perfect you had it let's see if this will help us here see if we can get in behind it get it out of the block a little bit oh there we are all right now i can use that kind of pry it a little bit all right i got enough out now where i can use my I can use my pry tool here there it is. Just like that. Came right out. Okay, so with the kit I got, it comes with a Z bracket. Make sure you get one that comes with the Z bracket. Otherwise, you won't be able to mount it here and put it up. So it came with its handy little bolt. I'm going to go find me an Allen head for that. And we'll go ahead and pop this thing up like that and move on. So looking at this kit, at first I was a little confused. A little confused because I got my Z bracket. Got my catch can. It's got this little bitty hole in it. And then I, oh, okay, this will go, yeah, that fits in there. It'll tighten. But then when you put it in here, it's hard to do with one hand. Falls right through. Hole's too big. So I got to looking around in the kit. Came with this here fandangled device. This actually goes here, gets bolted on. And then the big bolt goes in the back. Just a tip. Let's put this thing together. Get that lined up. Get your Allen that they provided you. Go to town so you get your tight. Don't over tighten it because it is aluminum. You get too beefcake on it, it'll give up. Beefcake! Beefcake! Alright, now this ain't got to be crazy tight, but. Alright, no movement, we're good to go. Now we take our Z bracket, mount this on the Z bracket. Comes with the bolt. comes with the spacer that's not the right bolt there boss so I had this thing all bass backwards that bolt goes in here and then the other one they provide goes into the block down here so I'm gonna get this tightened up just enough we can still adjust it here we go so I got the bracket put on like that that's gonna go down in here so now, take your spacer, take your bolt, 
slide your bolt through, slide your spacer on, just like that. And let's scoot that out of the way. Put this in and start tightening. All right, so once you get this bolt here installed, I'm gonna take a zip tie, zip tie this wire back up against the Z bracket. I'm gonna pull these off. Got myself some tough tape, thread tape, whatever y'all call it. Because brass doesn't tend to seal very well. And if you get it to seal, that means you stripped it. So I just do a little tough tape around it. I'll plug that thing back in there and do the same to the other side. So here's the reason why you need, and I guess I'm late to the game, but here's the reason why you need to get yourself an oil catch can. So they engineered it where crankcase ventilation, instead of just being a breather on the side of the valve cover like it used to be, goes up into this little guy, comes up through this tube, goes right back into your intake, sucks whatever oil and stuff from the pressure of the motor at the bottom, that gets pushed up to the top, goes in here, and feeds right back into your motor. Yes, I'm late to the game. Just procrastination. That's the only thing, the only reason. And then, uh, as you saw, once I started seeing a little puff puff coming out of there, I'm like, all right, that's enough. I'm done. I only got 20,000 miles on the car, and I don't really want to replace the intake yet. So we'll finish installing this. So the kit comes with this hose. This hose needs to go from here to here. Chop it. And then from here over to here. Gotta get one to there. All right, cut that off. You can hold on to these just in case you feel like uh, messing your motor up again. All right, this here will go right in here. Good like that. Make sure you get all the way up to the threads there. Right. Nice and tight fit. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop it right about yeah. I want just that little bend in there. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And to chop it, just got some little shears here. Shove it on. Boom, there's one side. This side here. Goes right down on there and goes right here. I know the nicer kits come with these little covers that go over the hose, but I went the cheap route and don't have that. So here's what we get. Well, as you can see here, I don't have this one tight enough. It actually moved it. So I'm going to pull this off, tighten this up a lot more, and then get this to actually kind of sit a little bit because I don't like that big hump like that. Just don't like it. Okay, I tighten this back up one more turn. Get that shoved back on there. And voila! Okay, as you can see, I got the zip tie down there. Zip tied around that Z bracket back a little ways so it'll hold it away from the motor. You don't need anything getting all too hot. So, pretty simple. I gotta say, it's a cheap one. We'll see how it works. I'll do an update and find out how much we get out of this thing. But uh, make sure your uh, your turn cack is, is sideways so it's not going down. Otherwise, you just leak it right out. But I'll give you an update here as soon as I can. I hope that helps somebody out on why to get a catch can. I know I was late to the party, but I finally got one. So let's put one on there and we'll check it out, see what we get out of it. There's another video on catch cans over at Scavenger 1320. He's actually done multiple tests to show you how much he's getting out of his motor. So it'll be interesting to compare uh, my 1320 versus his to see how much we collect in our little cans. But if you like this one, check out my other stuff. I have a bunch of scat, uh, scat pack, 
tips and tricks and all kinds of cool stuff with these cars. But I appreciate you. I'll see you. Are you tired of worrying about your car when it's parked in the parking lot? You're not around it. You're at dinner. You're at the mall. You're worried about it? Stop being worried about it, man. Go over to www.destroyer1320.com. Get yourself neutral release cover. If you pull this up and you don't see that, go over to destroyer1320.com. Get yourself one of them. Do yourself a favor. Get the latest TDS OBD2 cover. That will stop people from pointer and cloning your key. Head over to uh, www.destroyer1320.com now. Use code DESTROYER5 and get 5% off your first order. Thank you. Thank you.